Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and I'm so glad you're here. It's been a long time you guys and I definitely missed you. I'm so sorry for the break. Um, you know, I needed a hard reset, honestly. I took some time away from crafting and focused on some things and I was able to get to a really good place and so I'm back. Today I am making some really special water bottles. They are San Francisco Giants water bottles for myself and for my husband. We are both huge Giants fans and we never miss a game. I thought these would be really cool to make and it's something special that we have. So I'm starting out with a 32 ounce Duo Hydro Sport from Stainless Steel Depot for my husband and I have the same water bottle, only 25 ounces. I spray painted it with orange and white and I'm using orange and white glitter. So I used Mod Podge to apply the glitter and I feel like this might have been a bit of a mistake. It dried really fast. So you'll see that while I'm pouring the glitter, um, I haven't done the back part yet. I really don't know why I only did one part. I should have done the entire thing at once, but I was really nervous I was gonna mess up the blend and the blend ends up really not being a blend anyhow. So I didn't have anything to be too worried about. You can see that I'm going back and forth between the white and the orange, and that does take some time, but eventually I get there. I did also give up on keeping the glitter separate. There was no way I was not going to contaminate the white glitter, so I went ahead and just mixed it, and you can see it in a cup there. So here I went back with my fluffy brush and my Mod Podge, I used dishwasher safe Mod Podge, mainly because that's the only Mod Podge I have right now. Um, maybe that was part of the problem, I, I don't know. But you can see that I'm doing the part that I neglected to do earlier. And there is actually still a strip that ends up not getting any glitter. And so I have to go back a third time to try to fix this. These water bottles were not without their challenges, I'll say that. Now I'm doing my husband Dan's water bottle. I did mine as the guinea pig, so I thought, well, this one is sure to go better. Um. It didn't really. So I needed to do a second coat of Mod Podge. A lot of places, the glitter just didn't stick. And the weird thing is, I kept putting the glitter on and then shaking it so that the excess glitter fell off. And I did end up taking this out after I was done with all of the coats of glitter and Mod Podge to spray seal it because I knew if I used a brush and the Mod Podge to try to seal it, I was just going to spread glitter everywhere. Um, and even while spraying it, things were definitely flying off. I finally got there and here I am applying the first coat of resin for these cups. For this resin, I am using Mr. Nola's Fast Set Epoxy. They call it Speed Dry. So it's ready in about four hours. Now if you look at the tumbler on the left, which is my husband's, you can see it looks wonky. That's going to become a huge issue later.
And I'm just using the heat gun to sort of spread things out and smooth it out a little bit. Here I go, popping bubbles. Okay, so I knew I wanted to do the San Francisco skyline along the bottom of the tumbler. I found an image and I went ahead and cut it out in permanent vinyl, black permanent matte vinyl with my Cricut. I definitely meant to contour out <laughs> some of the little windows on that high rise. Uh, I didn't do that and as a result I had quite a bit of weeding to do. Weeding is not my favorite thing. I don't hate it but it's not my favorite. This was quite the task. You'll see I have two different sizes. The larger one of course is for Dan's tumbler and the smaller one is for mine. I got some transfer tape on there and I made it nice and smooth so that it would apply really smoothly, which it does not, but that's okay, I fixed it. While this is taking place, I'll tell you a fun story. My husband and I actually went to high school together. We weren't together in high school, so we reconnected about seven years ago on Facebook and I'm so happy. He's just the perfect guy. I, I can't say enough about him. And here I am riding the struggle bus. I had a lot of bubbles to pop and a lot of things to pick up and relay, but it ended out it ended up being fine in the end. After a lot of futzing and a lot of frustration, I finally cut off the bottom. We are going to paint the bottom black, so we will be covering the white, but I wanted to make sure it had a nice clean uh, line at the bottom so that I had a smooth area to paint. And I just used acrylic paint, plain black acrylic paint. Okay, here's where I should not have painted the bottom because I actually made a really cute stencil and there it is. So the Giants like arch rival are the LA Dodgers. So it's kind of a fun chant. Everybody will chant beat LA when we're playing them. So it's sort of the inside joke of the San Francisco Giants. So I thought this would be a fun Easter egg to see on the bottom. Now when you're doing this over the stencil, you want to make sure you're not doing what I'm doing, which is actually making strokes with your paintbrush. That tends to get uh, the paint underneath the stencil and I did end up having to do quite a bit of cleanup. It was okay, but save yourself some trouble and make sure you're pouncing a fluffy brush and not painting with a stiff brush. There are two other decals that I'd like to put on and I am creating a sort of background for them and that's what these stencils are for. And you can see me using Cricut on my iPad to cut these out. Everything went pretty smoothly. This time I didn't have a lot of trouble with my Cricut which was great. So the larger stencil is going to be for a decal in a really nice sort of retro font that says Giants. 
I was trying to match their um, their classic jerseys. I got as close as I could. And then the other one on the right here is for their SF logo. You wanna make sure you cut off the extra transfer tape. Sometimes I've had transfer tape actually mar the resin around what I'm doing. So here I'm just making sure I get that Giants lined up with the Golden Gate Bridge like I did on my husband's. I'm clearly having trouble with words today. Just make sure when you're using a stencil that you rub down the edges of it really well. So here you can see that I actually used an inner part of the stencil. It ended up not adding anything and it was more of a pain. So I just deleted that from my stencil for my cup. And now I'm going to use that same black paint to fill in the gaps in these stencils. I only do one coat, not actually terribly worried about any glitter showing through or anything. This is really just to provide a background for the really cool orange holographic vinyl that I use to make these decals. I'm being very careful here not to scratch the paint in any way. It's not a tragedy if you do. You could just go in with a small paintbrush and touch that up. And somehow I lost the footage of applying those decals, but there they are. This one went on a little wonky, so I'm just showing you how I sort of picked it up and uh, smoothed it back down. Now I'm going to go over it with gloss varnish just to make sure there's no lifting when I apply the final coats of epoxy. So I have an issue with his water bottle. It's huge and it's heavy. And each of my tumbler arms has its own small, basically rotisserie motor. And it was already on the way out. Um, and unfortunately this, uh, this tumbler turner was not very old, so I was disappointed by that. But um, being as it was on its way out, the heft of this water bottle just totally killed it. So the motor completely stops at one point and I can't get it to start back up again. So I ended up having to call my husband up in a panic so that he could hold the top of the water bottle while I used my gloved hand to unscrew it from that tumbler arm and to put it on a different one. I put it actually where the tumbler on the left is. That's gonna be an upcoming video as well. It might be a short. And here it is. They're all done. This is my husband's. They turned out so cute. I really like them. The blend between the orange and the white isn't awesome, but it's good enough and I like it. I really like it. We've had a lot of fun using these and we love to take them out in public. We even run across some Dodgers fans who are impressed. <laughs> and here's mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm really happy to be back. I can't thank you enough for watching and I hope you will be well, take care, and I'll see you soon.